Good morning and welcome to Monday Marketing with Suzanne. I am so excited to be here and to get going this morning um, and to share with you the last installment of the series I have been doing on getting more exposure in your business. So this is week nine, and as I said, it is the last of the nine-week More Exposure series. If you are here, I would love for you to let me know, say hi in the chat. I am so excited to be here. I've had like a morning of total creativity getting ready for my next series, which is going to start next week. Um, so I am Suzanne Moore, and I help independent entrepreneurial women figure out what the two to three things they really need to focus are on are in order to bring revenue into their business uh, most quickly. And today I'm going to cover three easy ways to use video in your business to increase your exposure. So first I want to talk for a minute about why we want to do this. So when you use video, you can just communicate in a totally different way with people than through writing or any other way, right? We get to see the nonverbals. We get to see your excitement. We get to see your emotion. Um, we get to see your facial expression. We get to look into your eyes and see what you're really thinking and feeling in this moment when you're sharing information, right? Um, so it it makes people feel like you are talking right to them and that they have an individual connection with you. I mean, just think about think about the the actors that you've seen like year after year after year on shows on TV. You feel like you know them, right? And that is because you you get to see such expression from them. So also, people can get a sense of the person you are. Um, you know, writing is amazing, but being able to write, not only to write, but to write with personality is a skill that takes a long time to develop. And, you know, maybe you have it and that's awesome. Um, it is a skill I know I'm working on, but... Typically, when we write, we need someone to edit our, our stuff and make sure that there's clarity in what we're saying. And being able to just express yourself verbally is easier for most of us. Um, so that is one of the reasons that video is such a great way to communicate what you want to communicate. If you're teaching, if you're just sharing stuff, if you're trying to build a relationship with people. Um, fear. I want to talk for a minute about fear around using video, right? We all have it. There is no way that, um, we don't. And I know you, I mean, looking at me, I'm very expressive right now. I'm excited. Um, but that doesn't mean that I don't have those butterfly flutters every time, every time before I come on live, right? Um, or I use video in any way. We all have that sense and it, it is bigger or larger depending on where we are in a trajectory of using video. But what I can say is no matter where you are with it, the, the challenge of that goes down the more you do it. It's like anything else, right? Practice, practice, practice. Do it, and every time you do it, and every time you experience it, and the world doesn't blow up, and people don't say you're crazy, or boy, you looked funny today, <laughs> or whatever, right? Um, every time you do it, you will. It will get easier for you. So, um, so that is number one. Number two is we all have discomfort about the way we look, right? Um, we all look at what is going on with us and I just dropped my script. We all look at, I'm, honey, I'm, I'm on live right now. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Um, so 
we all have um, discomfort in the way we look and present ourselves, right? Take the time to figure out what makes you feel better. Um, for me, I know that I always feel better when my makeup's done. So every Monday before I come on live, I take the time to do my makeup. Why? Because it makes me feel good about myself. And we all look at ourselves and we nitpick. We nitpick what's wrong. We nitpick, you know, am I, am I fat? Am I short? Am I tall? Is my hair looking okay today? None of it matters. None of it matters. Focus on what you are sharing with people. Focus on what you are giving to people and on the value that you are bringing them. That's what matters. That's what matters. Okay. And I mean, I have like, I, I don't, I have an astigmatism. My eye floats around. It's something I've dealt with my entire life. When I am tired, when I'm, um, uh, a lot of times I know when I'm thinking and I'm talking on video, my eye kind of floats around. It looks a little funny. Everyone who knows me and connects with me in person will know that after a while talking to me, or maybe not a while talking to me, um, they'll, it'll look like I'm looking over their shoulder. And I often am talking to someone and they start to go like this because my eye is floating out. And I'll say, oh, no, 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 I'm looking at you. It's my eyes. It's my astigmatism. This is just me. Um, and people get used to it and then they don't think about it anymore, I think. Um, they don't say anything. Um, anyway, we all have things that we're getting over in terms of using video. And, and that's okay. That's okay, but just come on and do it and use it and do it consistently and it will get easier. So three specific ways that you can use video in your business. Number one, video blogging. Um, again, for some of us writing an article uh, about something we're trying to teach or convey can be absolute torture. It can take hours it, you know, we write, we come back to it, we edit it, we feel like somebody needs to read it over, right? If you do a video, you just do it. Well, or you can torture yourself over that too, I'm sure. But I mean, for example, I just do a script and my script for these is bullet points. And I talk to the bullet point and then it's over. And putting together my bullet points usually takes me about 15 minutes. Why? Because I know what I'm talking about. And I don't have to write every word that I'm going to say. I just have to write the gist of what I'm going to say. And then I share it, right? Practice that, do that, and then share it. And, you know, if you don't want to do it live, fine, but record videos and, you know, maybe, maybe you'll need two or three takes, but probably by the third one, you're going to be golden and it'll take you a lot less time to have done it than if you had been writing. Unless you're a really good writer, then, you know, then, then that's okay too. But I'm just, this is an alternative and, and I find that using video, people can get a sense of you and feel more comfortable with you more quickly. Um, going live. Um, so using spontaneous live videos in your business is fantastic. Maybe you're at an event, not these days, but you know, someday again, maybe you're at an event and you share a, a smidge of what's going on around you. Maybe you just pop on live and you share, um, the scenery around you. Maybe you share live because you're doing something in your life, having nothing to do with an event that is helping you connect with whatever it is you do in your business and you try to convey or teach people. Um, jumping on and doing that is an, a fantastic way of giving people a glimpse of your experience, whether it's St strictly business focused or whether it is personally focused um, or whether it has to do with something, you know, with a, a, a thing that you sell, right? I talk a lot in terms of um, if, if people sell 
services or they teach on some level or they coach on some level. But all of these um, all of these ideas apply even if you sell a thing, right? Um, again, your lives, they don't have to be long. Just make sure that they're impactful, right? And um, remember always, of course, that if you're on Facebook, if you're on Instagram, I think even LinkedIn likes it when people go live, you get a better algorithm, i.e. your stuff gets seen more. So jumping on live, amazing, amazing thing to do. Okay, and then the last place I want you to think about using video is your website. And I'm going to out myself right here. I have a totally pared down website right now. It's in the works, but I have no video on my website. However, I have in the past, I've done a, I actually used to do a weekly video blog for years and years and years. Um, and I will in the future, but I'm outing myself. I don't have it right now. However, having a homepage video about you, about who you serve, about why you do what you do, amazing. Having an about page video that tells your story. Who better to tell your story than you in a video? Um, and you can have it in video and in writing. Different people consume different information um, in different ways. Go for it. Put the video out there. Let people see. Let people see your personality. Let people see your, your tone, your inflection, and, and the way that you express yourself. And then, of course, um, you can do a video blog if you want. And that is a great way to share information, to teach people, and to do it in a way that you are constantly connecting with them. Now, I want to invite you, if you'd like, to connect with me um, and have a strategy session around any of this. I want to invite you to do that. You can grab one at um, schedulewithsuzanne.as.me. Again, schedulewithsuzanne.as.me. Dot me. And I also want to share with you one of the reasons I am like bouncing off the walls this morning is that right before I came live, I was outlining my uh, Monday Marketing with Suzanne lives for the rest of the year. I mentioned at the beginning of this that this is the last in my um, More Exposure series. Next week, I am starting a Planning for 2021 series. I'm going to help you develop your, uh, your big rocks. I'm going to help you get over the things you are concerned with in the coming year with all this pandemic craziness. And I'm going to help you break things down and make sure that you are measuring your goals so that you can kick ass in the new year. So I hope you will join me starting next week, Monday Marketing with Suzanne at 11 a.m. Eastern for that series. And I hope that this was extremely valuable to you. Have a great day and a great week, everyone. Bye.